Hello everybody, welcome back to Battletech. Now, it has recently come to my attention that despite my previous uh, feelings, uh, impression, I don't know what word to use, but despite that, uh, pirate reputation is actually somewhat important. Because um, it turns out there's a black market in this game. I only recently found out about this. And so having my pirate reputation at loathed, one, it's going to uh, make it so that getting access to the black market is going to be prohibitively expensive. But additionally, it also means that the uh, cost of things in that black market is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So... I need to try and rescue this reputation. Now, unfortunately, I, with that last mission, I pushed myself into loathed territory, which means that the highest contract that they will let me do is a one and a half skull. <laughs> and let me tell you, I can't remember the last time I did a one and a half skull mission. However, I looked into things and it is possible to find one. Now, I have to go all the way back to these starting systems with two skull ratings on them. And I have to kind of just mill around here and hope that I get a one and a half skull mission pop up. So, that's my plan for this session. I am going to spend 300 grand and 39 days to travel halfway across the galaxy map to get to Bellerophon because that's the one I can get to the quickest. And we're going to see if we can spawn a one and a half skull pirate mission. <laughs> because the pirates are active in this system. So it's possible. Okay, cross your fingers and your toes and your eyes and everything else you got that you can cross, and let's go. Set course, yes. Course now, I can't believe I'm doing this, but yep. I need to correct this course as soon as possible, so we're going straight there. We're not stopping anywhere on the way, we're just go going straight there. This is going to take a little while. That work order you submitted is complete. Yeah, that's fine. Glitches out of the hospital. Yes. And now come the many, many jumps. Hey boss, we've just completed those okay. upgrades. I'm not actually going to order up another ship upgrade because I've got most of the really important ones that I need right now anyway. And getting any more is just going to reduce my money and increase my monthly operating costs. Which is not ideal considering I'm going to be doing low level missions for a faction that absolutely hates me. So I'm going to be getting next to no money whatsoever. So. I need to run as lean as I can for the next couple of months. So, I'm not going to be ordering any more upgrades until I've got my reputation sorted out. Onward. Oh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Nothing quite like travelling across the entire freaking galaxy. But it needed to be done, and... Oh, hello. Corridor... Bochi? Is that how you pronounce that? Hmm. In the morning briefing, Samir asks something unexpected. So what's the story with those mech warriors bowling in the barracks hallway? Darius crosses his arms over his chest. I've already put an end to that. Behemoth and Medusa were calling it Corridor Boche. I shut it down as a matter of discipline. You turn to Darius. How much trouble have their games caused? They're playing in unused corridors, so not much. But it was only a matter of time before something, or someone, got damaged. We should really repair the gym in Betapod instead. Okay, well, I'll do that once I've got 
this reputation system sorted out and got some money coming in. Uh, in the meantime, hmm, let Darius's decision stand, reverse Darius's decision, or host one last public game. I think one last public game is the best way. We keep Darius's decision in hand, in place, so you understand that this is potentially dangerous. But we do get the fun of one last game, so I think that's probably the right one. Hey, morale plus one. Hey. The next day, mech warriors and crew crowd in the narrow barracks hallway to watch Behemoth face against Medusa in one final game of Corridor Bocce. In the winning play, Behemoth bounces her last ball off the corridor wall twice to send Medusa spinning away toward the audience. The crew erupts in, spear in cheers and continue to talk about the match for days afterward. Hey, yeah. I think I played that well. Okay. Now, onwards! We have a reputation to salvage. Ready to go over financials oh. whenever you are. Hey, end of month. Uh, yeah, sorry I haven't been saying much. There really isn't much to talk about in this situation. Uh, hmm, should I go down to restrictive? I mean, I've already capped out my morale, and I keep getting two <laughs> morale boosts because I'm such a great and awesome commander. Um, nah, we can keep going on normal for a while. We've got plenty of months worth of running cost covered so yeah stay on normal okay yep so yeah as i say there's really not that much to talk about at the moment so sorry about that but we're nearly there so that's the important thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna one two oh hello <laughs> moonlighting with a medium laser while pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Havoc. He is fiddling with a stock medium laser. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around him. As you approach, Havoc looks up, a sheepish grin on his face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this baby. Maybe get a little more performance out of her? Could you do me a favour and keep this one from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Hmm. I could either remind him that it's not a mech warrior's job, let him keep working at it, or because he's bookish, I could tell him to share his ideas with Yang. That sounds like a good idea. Usually worth making use of a trait if it comes up, so let's try that. Mech warriors belong in mechs, technicians belong in the mech bay. But you seem to be pretty knowledgeable about these things, and you've already gutted the weapon. Explain to Yang what you're going for, and maybe he can finish what you started. Later that week, you catch Havoc in the hall. Chief Etanen wanted me to pass along the news. He investigated your suggestions, but they didn't lead anywhere productive. Oh. Oh? Havoc stares at the floor, crestfallen. Damn, I thought for sure that would work. Thanks for asking the Chief to give it a try, though. I guess I'd better stick to what I do best, shooting the weapons instead of trying to modify them. I lose a medium laser. Ah, I've got plenty of those. I've got 34 kicking around, it's fine. Ah, that's a pity. Oh, oh, damn it! That was a split second too slow there. I forgot about that. I was supposed to stop and save there because... What can happen is, uh, basically when the ship jumps into the system, like just then, it'll randomly generate all the missions for that system. Now, this system can spawn one and a half scale missions, Looks like we've arrived, but it's Commander. not guaranteed. Additionally, if it does spawn a one and a half scale mission, it may very well not be for the pirates. 
So the odds of there being a one and a half scale pirate mission waiting for me here are pretty slim. Yeah, it's it's one and a half skull, but it's for uh, local planetary government. So what I could do is I could just go jumping back and forth between the planets and trying to spawn a mission that way. But that would take forever in-game time, cost me a ton in money, and probably wouldn't even work before I ran out of money. So what the plan will be is to... Uh, well, save scum, basically. Uh, so, I was planning to drop a save just before the ship jumped. And then just keep reloading that save until I get a mission that I can use. I don't like to save scum, but since this is literally the only way this is going to happen, I'm going to have to. So, uh, yeah, let me just go back to the auto save that is the most recent and work off of that. And I will cut out and come back once I've finally found a mission that will give me some pirates. So, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we've done it. We have found the pirate mission at last. It's uh, actually going to pay pretty well, surprisingly. Um... With max possible reputation of plus seven. That is going to be very, very nice. So. Overt operatives on the planet have located a secret government facility that's been abandoned. We have a team inbound to this planet to strip the facility of everything valuable. But our people on the surface tripped some sort of alarm. Which means the original owners are probably on their way to level the place and ensure we can't salvage anything. We need you and your people to occupy that base and keep it intact until our team arrives. Hmm, this all seems straightforward enough, Commander. There will likely be significant opposition, but nothing we haven't handled in the past. Sweet, let's negotiate it. I want less salvage, so I get more rep. And I want less pay, so I get more rep. There we go. I'm going to gain plus seven rep, and that's going to push me down from... Uh, loathed into hated which means I'll be able to take two skull missions which will make it even easier for me to find missions that the pirates are handing out that I can do so yes this is very critical Accept. That, Commander. let's go we're going to Detroit and best part was it was up against the local planetary government so I'm not gonna piss anybody else off in the process okay let's go Come on, 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 but I want to rescue you by reputation. Come on, here we go, here we go. Off to Detroit. And here we are. Okay, let's get to the system. Thankfully, I've upgraded my drive system, so this shouldn't take too long. Yeah, just a couple of days. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Oh. Oh, no, that was the financial report that was in a couple of days. Oh, six more days. Okay. That's part of a week. Damn, that jump ship was a long way out. Okay. We are here. You didn't do all this, Commander. Uh, yes, let's proceed with this contract. Wait, what? Why is the Shadow Hawk? What? Did I forget to put that up for repairs? Ah. Well, anyway, uh, Dragon, in you go. Oh, I should have sent that Black Knight to storage. That would have made things a little bit cheaper. Oh well. Uh, sorry, Medusa. Uh, no, no, sorry, no, Glitch is in position. Yeah, sorry, yep. Yep, everybody's in. Good. Okay, uh, yeah, let's deploy with an assault mech, two heavies, and a light versus one and a half skull difficulty mission. This should be hilarious. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. There's something I still don't get, Exo. Why did they abandon this place if it's full of stuff valuable enough that they're willing to flatten the place to keep it out of pirate hands? No clue. At a guess, it's a trap and we're springing it. One moment, 
If we know it's a trap, why are we walking into it? Ha, <laughs> because they're paying us to. Got it in one, Yang. We're going out to turn a handful of mechs into scrap and loot the remains. The specific details aren't really our problem. <laughs> okay. Hold out for reinforcements for 10 rounds. Defend target buildings for must survive, eight to remain. Bonus if I can save all the buildings and destroy the enemy vanguard is another bonus. Okay, right. Uh, where's the edge of the map? Okay, over there. Wow, this map goes a long way up to the north. And the other edge is there. Okay. Relatively central then. Okay, well, let's get into position around the base and see what we can do to defend it. Make proper, you just kind of build around here, I guess. Uh huh. Dragon, get out there and see what you can see. Copy that. Okay, no sign of enemy activity yet. My main concern is going to be LRM. Up, oh, we got sensor contacts dead. somewhere. Where are they? Aha! Okay, that looks. Yeah, 20 tons. Okay, that's. Uh, that's what a very light you? mech, and it is going to die if I can get the mech hopper into range. Damn, I can't. Okay. Okay, we'll reserve then. It's only a light mech, it's probably not going to take down a building in one turn. It's a locust. And it done nothing. Okay, uh, mech popper. Waiting for orders. If you would be so kind, we have a mech for you to pop. Don't need to tell me twice. It's okay. That building did, wasn't important. It didn't count. Uh, yeah. If you would be so kind. This should be good. Goodbye. Gotcha. Okay, that's one down. Enemy contact. Okay, down here. It's a 25 ton. And we've got a 20 ton. Okay, that's probably another Lucas. Reinforcements. They're heading your way. Yep. Uh, Good to that's go. Fine. We can probably pop one of these mechs right now. Moving out. Reasonably sure I've got enough heat capacity for this. It's a flea. <laughs> flea, prepare to die. Take this. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the mech popper. Okay. Oh, hello. They've got a 30 tonner hiding down here. Well, that's fine. That's what the rest of my lance is for. Now, that's a commando from the looks of it. Oi, cheeky. Uh, let me find out what this mech over here is, I guess. Um, uh, that's as good a spot as any. Move order received. That's a javelin. Okay, that one needs to die. That's got LRMs. Yeah, sure, let's fire everything right up. There goes his right arm. Oh, yeah. Okay, how's it looking? Uh, I've opened up the center torso, but I haven't done any actual structure damage. Okay, uh, let's uh, plod on over to... 
here, I guess. If I go here, I can get medium lasers in on that commando. Probably worth it. If I destroy the commando, that javelin's not going to have line of sight to the buildings anymore anyway, so... Fire! Damn. Lasers both missed. Okay, well. That's fine. It's got no evasions now, which is hilarious. I could go there and shoot him. Or I could go here and shoot this one and have more evasions on my assault, which is generally the better idea, so let's do that. Mando gets a slight reprieve. Uh, fire! Got his right leg. Inflicted some heavy damage. And knocked down, okay. That's perfect, in fact, because that means he's going to go a step later. Gives me a bit more time to deal with this commando. Yeah, he just braced up. Well, unfortunately, thanks to the uh, hot nature of this particular battlefield, Glitch is not going to be able to fire again this turn, so you just back off and cool down. So, there we go. Okay, now the javelin gets up. Oh, hello. PPC from down there. Okay. I need to check out over here. This is not good. Ready for orders. Okay, if I go here, I can still get eyes on that javelin. Roger. And hopefully I'll find whatever's firing that EPC. There it is. 35 tonner just hiding out there. Alright, let's finish this guy off quickly. There we go. Hostile eliminated. Oh, hello. Got a Phoenix Hawk down here, okay. And another target. Oh, hello, here's here's the main forces, okay. Let's bring this over here and could get shots on that Phoenix Hawk, but I do need to finish off this commando. So I guess that's what I'll do this turn. Finish him off, please. Right arm, right torso. There we go, center torso. He's out. Enemy mech destroyed. Good, good, good. He comes there, 60 ton heavy. It's a quick draw, okay. Right, beat him off. You start stomping down here and uh, give these guys something to think about. I got shot on. Best shot is against that quick draw, which isn't braced up either, so that's good. Uh, fire! Okay, solid hit with the AC. The other one missed, but that's fine. And some decent damage from the PPC. Okay, that panther now can't shoot because. Waiting on you, Commander! I'm assuming that's a panther anyway. Uh, can't shoot because it doesn't have a line of sight anymore. It's all too far away. Uh, yeah, I think I can get away with this. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Maybe I should have uh, reserved until after the other mechs had gone. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's a panther. I thought it was. Okay, let's uh, let's deal with you. All weapons are go. When I shoot you, oh, you'll damn. take it and like it. I missed. <laughs> well, that's annoying. 
Okay, Phoenix Hawk didn't really achieve much. Orders. Hmm, everybody's raced up. Oh no, the quick draw isn't. I guess I'll shoot at the quick draw then. Uh, oh, coordinates that seems easy. like a good position. Water's going to slow me down, but it'll also cool me down as well, so that's good. Fire everything! Fire. Good damage. Okay, let's see what he does. Not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, my turn. Three evasions looks like the best I'm gonna get. Okay, well that quick draw it hasn't braced up and has no evasions, so I guess I'll be going for him. Unless, can I get a medium laser into anybody from here? No, I can't. Fire! I was just wondering whether it might have been worth split firing, but. Enemy mech, critical damage okay, detected. Okay, that's decent damage. And now Behemoth gets to stomp forward a bit more. Ooh, and into cover. Brilliant. Okay. We're coming into optimum range for the Highlander now. I think this quick draw does. Hello, quick draw. Roger that. Goodbye, quick draw. <laughs> hey, there we go. Just the ACs was enough. <laughs> and that's just complete overkill. There we go. Oh, <laughs> and some more damage just that's to be safe. Kill. Not going to be salvaging much off of that. Okay, Glitch, Waiting you need another order. cooldown turn, don't you? Uh, I'm gonna actually reserve with you for now. Standing by. Phoenix Hawk team coming. Oi! You're not supposed to go for the buildings, you're supposed to go for the big scary assault mech. That's right in front of your face. Uh, yeah, I wanna go after the panther. PPC into the Jaeger Mega, okay. He can take it. In fact, it didn't even hit him. I hear ya. Okay, so now I'm gonna sprint, see if I can get in the water. Yes, I can, perfect. Affirmative. Do, 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 do. Into the water, and let's cool right down. There we go, nice. That's the way we like it. Um, guess I try and take out that panther now. Here we go. Fire! Well, there we go. We at least got rid of the PPC. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ah, down you go. <laughs> okay, Medusa, can you get a... You can get around behind this thing. Oh, be very down. nice. Silly Phoenix Hawk, you let me get behind you. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I should strike this. The center torso, Phoenix Hawk isn't exactly a mech I'm desperate to have. There we go, out he goes. Okay, Behemoth. Yes, Commander. Can you be so kind as to finish off this panther for me? Um, hmm, cool shot. Where should I aim for? Let's go for the head, that'll be a laugh. Fire! 
My torso is such a torso. Okay, there we go. <laughs> left leg. There's really nothing left Enemy of that pad for now. <laughs> All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are at right now. Yes, mission there we go. Successful. Perfect mission. I gain plenty of rep. I get a little bit more payment thanks to those bonuses. There we go. That brings it up to 78 grand. They like me and we'll see what pitiful scraps of salvage I can get out of this. That went well, real well. Seems like we did the right thing in calling you in, mercenary. Glad to see we both came out ahead today. Yep. And the kills were pretty evenly spread, amusingly. I didn't expect that. Ooh, I didn't realise the dragon took such a heavy hit to his leg, but he's fine. Very nice. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, the salvage just gets given to me, doesn't it? I don't even get to pick anything. Was there anything nice that I missed out on? Eh, not really. I would have preferred some mech parts over SRM2, LRM ammo and a large laser, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I needed to salvage my reputation. So, we've already taken it up one notch, and that's a very good thing. Now I need to get it from hated to just disliked. Oh, Lady Centrella is ready to meet with us. No, ready to meet us on Weldry, Commander. I have a filed a contract in the command center. Okay. Well, I'm going to be ignoring that for a while because I want to sort out these reputations. But if I look at my reputation now, I'm merely hated. Woohoo! Go me! And that means that, just like the Tauran Concordat, they will give me missions up to two skull difficulty, which is going to make it a lot easier to find missions in the future. So, hope you've all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.